sorry. Passionate believed you were meant to do greater things in life. Good morning, good afternoon, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, today's gonna be a chill video. I'm just gonna warn you guys, preface this, today's gonna be a chill day in my life after surgery, after a trip. I'm kind of just going to regather myself and have a chill day. Because I woke up this morning, while I feel good, there's a large part of me that does feel like very overwhelmed, very stressed. It's days like this where I feel like I really just need to be with myself and really take these days a little bit more slower and a little bit more intimate if that makes any sense so i don't have the most productive day i do have a meeting and i do want to hop on the treadmill in a little bit just because hopping on a treadmill and going even if it's on a 15 minute walk really helps me plus doctor's orders i should be going on walks right now i'm about a week or so from my surgery day i'm feeling really good i am still taking the medication which i feel like the medication is also kind of affecting me but that's neither here nor there it's just the way my body handles medication so today we're gonna be taking it easy i got a couple new planners i got new books i got some pr i want to open and brandon and i are gonna have a cute little like mini date and we're gonna make some dinner together or some early lunch and i'm really excited because after this trip and again just from recovering from my surgery i've just missed him a lot like i know i posted a little bit about it on my instagram stories but i've been just so needy of him and it's like weird for me because I'm not generally like a needy woman but after this surgery like I've been so needy of him and it could have been so easy for me to just be like hey stay home with me be home with me all day but I didn't want to do that because I know that that's just not healthy and I know like I said I really need to focus on me today and spend quality time with me so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna focus on ourselves bettering ourselves taking on our day with as much calm ease and self-care as possible but I'm really excited because we're actually gonna make a green chef meal today and and I'm, I'm just excited. Like I get excited about food. I get excited about spending quality time with him. And I've always loved doing little things with Brandon. So just the fact that we're gonna like cook together is also something I'm super excited about. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm already pretty much dressed to get on the treadmill. I just have to put on my shoes. I've been drinking my matcha. So we're nice and as energized as we could possibly be. And let's get going. You guys thought I was gonna get dressed and wear anything other than a matching sweatpants set. You would have been sorely mistaken. Sorely. I'm um, also, why is it so bright? I'm probably just gonna brush my hair, guys. Do like my signature down the middle little slit. I know I look so cute right now. But I'm just gonna brush my hair and I'm just gonna do skincare today. I'm really trying to give my skin a break from all the makeup that I've been putting it through. And not just any makeup, guys. I've been doing like full glam. I've been doing like the lashes the full coverage foundation which you guys know i'm not really huge on full coverage i have been literally caking it on so i feel like my skin is just like give us a little break so today we're just gonna focus on our skincare which i'm honestly so okay with starting with my lips because i feel like they're so trapped and i know a lot of it has to do with the medication you guys that's why i have really focused on like taking less and not suffering through the pain but i know suffering through the pain just because i don't want like my skin to really go through it you know what i mean by the way this is a tip for anybody out there who's into hyaluronic acid but you're not sure if you're doing it right psa hyaluronic acid is a best applied to damp skin it helps absorb the moisture and it helps absorb the product better if you apply hyaluronic acid to damp skin that is why i always spritz my face with a toner or some sort of like facial essence also like i'm just kind of obsessed with toners to begin with the hyaluronic acid i have been loving is from osea literally obsessed with this hyaluronic acid really massage it use like like my most hydrating products definitely gonna use my peptide from strivectin this is the peptide tightening neck serum roller you guys this stuff is amazing and because i am gonna be working on my computer in a little bit i need the blue light defense
Now we're gonna go ahead and get into some PR, which is not a lot. I only got two packages, but I am excited to open them and I'm obviously excited to share them with you guys because I wouldn't be getting PR if it wasn't for you. So know that I keep that in mind and that's why I love to share everything that I get with you guys as much as I possibly can. So I got a couple packages. One is from Burst and another one is from Madison Reed, which the Madison Reed has been, has been through it. Like I feel like somebody tried to get into this package. I don't even know what's in here, but thank you so much. I love getting packages from Madison Reed. It says happy new year from the Madison Reed family. We so appreciate all the love and support you have shown us this past year. And we couldn't be more excited to continue our relationship in 2023. Oh, we got some root cover up. You guys, I have been wanting this because of my bald spots that I have here. Like after having Jameson, I lost so much hair and I could tell when I do like my slick back looks like I could see all my bald spots. So this is awesome. They sent a candle. I love candles. Oh my God goodness it smells so good and then we got an espresso neutralizer so this helps neutralize the brassiness which i definitely need and then a color therapy mask in cafe which i'm very excited about i needed this how did you guys know verse i love verse guys versus one of my favorite skincare brands of all time glass skin isn't just for the face it's for the body Ooh, we got an exfoliating body scrub i needed a good body scrub so thank you so much first like i said anytime i get anything from verse i get super excited anyways these are the things that I got sent. This is the PR. I wanted to quickly show you guys some stuff that I got for myself just to kind of prepare for the new year. Um, these were like my new year gifts, but they just got here. One is because I think I customized it and that's why it took a little longer. But one of the things I really struggled with last year was my overall mental health. Like I know I look like I was very happy on camera and touching back on a comment that I made in a few videos back where there were so many videos I they just weren't really authentic to me like as much as I hate to admit it and I think that's why this content shift was so necessary because I uploaded videos you guys that not only was I not proud of but I was just losing so much passion for what I was doing and that's why we're kind of shifting into more of a vloggy kind of lifestyle content kind of genre here on my channel and I struggled with my mental health a lot I struggled with staying not authentic but like staying focused and staying connected to me that was one thing that this year I was like I'm not gonna go through that and that's why I made one of my new year's resolutions in my new year's resolutions video like I'm going to look up at the trees more and I'm gonna be so much more in the present and so much more in the moment and I'm not going to kill myself for work although I do 100% believe in like hustling and grinding I don't think that that should come at the risk of like your overall mental health especially when it can be prevented so I, I went a little crazy I feel like I shouldn't have gotten this many but I'm honestly not mad at it I got a book which I talked about in my birthday video. This is one of the books I bought myself for my birthday, which I'm so excited about. I guess this is a brand new copy. I honestly thought I bought it used, but I really do want to make more time for actually sitting down and reading more. I listen to audiobooks in the car all the time. Like that's basically all I listen to while I drive, but I wanted to like physically sit down and read more this year. So I bought The Mountain Is You and this is transforming self-sabotage into self-mastery. And that is one thing that I need. I'm so excited to get into this book you have no idea i'm pretty sure that this is what i think it is it is i got myself a little journal that i feel like this is like my little baby journal that i can carry with me in my backpack it is the let that shh go a journal for leaving your bullsh behind and creating a happy life i'm so excited to journal in this and i feel like this is going to be a great journal to keep in my backpack to keep in my tote bags to take with me to work when i'm feeling overwhelmed and i just need to kind of de-stress like this is going to be like my on the go journal and then the last thing that i got and this was again to start off my 2023 year and really mentally take care of myself this is from papier i think that's how you pronounce it the brand is papier and i got my Myself a couple of journals which they look so ridiculously beautiful i got myself a capricorn journal because as you guys know because i'm pretty loud and proud about it i am a capricorn and for those of you guys that don't know capricorns are the most tenacious determined and the most ambitious of the zodiac like we are focused determined stubborn 
passionate creatures that fits me to a T. Like I'm actually a double Capricorn when I do like my big three or whatever. And I customize it. It says my name and then it says it's your time. And this is their wellness journal. So I got this just to be able to check in on myself and to set my intentions for the day. I don't just want to do things just to do them. I want to do them with intention and I want to do them with focus because I have so many goals I want to reach this year within myself, within my career. This is probably going to be the one that I start out my day with, end off my day with here in my office. So this is going to be like my stationary journal. And then I went ahead and just bought a notebook because I just wanted to. And on both of these journals, because you can customize them, I put it's your time because that has been a quote that has been like standing out to me. After reading and rereading and re-listening to an audiobook, the author of this audiobook kept saying like it's your time and that was one of her affirmations and that is my affirmation of the year. Other than I want to see what happens if I don't give up, it's your time is the one that's really like resonating with me. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys because this is just something that I do on days where again I'm not feeling my 100% best self which which today has been one of those days. <laughs> Again, one of my goals this year was to be more vulnerable. And I started off this video telling you guys that I'm not really feeling like the best today. Like today's just one of those days where mentally like I just know it, like I'm not all the way there. And the way that I have gone about today is usually the way that I go about days where I'm not feeling like my happiest self. I, I do some sort of exercise. Like today I got on my treadmill. I stayed as productive as I could. I could have canceled my meeting. I didn't. I got in the shower. I did my self-care. I did my skincare. I put on something cozy. I'm about to journal and read. But as I was finishing my meeting and I walked in here, I came across my birthday card that my brother got me this year. My birthday was a couple weeks ago and it made me cry, but I read it today and I'm still gonna cry. I'm like, I'm gonna cry again, I just know. I think that's another reason why I didn't wanna wear makeup today. For those of you guys that don't know, a few years ago, I was pretty, pretty broke living with my parents. I had just gone through my separation. Um with my first marriage. The job that I was working, I worked at a small makeup shop where I was really happy because I got to be around, you know, makeup. Uh, it went out of business pretty abruptly and we only had like two weeks to look for a job and I had a mouth to defeat. Like, it's awesome that I had my parents and I had a roof over my head and obviously my parents would have helped me throughout whatever. But my parents are like getting older, you know, and it's not their job to take care of me and it sure wasn't their job to take care of Autumn. So I needed a job and my brother owns a construction company and he hired me and I have no, no experience in construction, like none. Like, I, yes, I grew up with my dad who was a construction worker. All my brothers worked in construction, my uncle. I grew up in it, but that doesn't mean that I know about construction. And he made it seem like it was a really like legit position and like he really needed me, but he already had a cleaner. And I remember he kind of struggled to give me things to do throughout, um, the course of my working there like don't get me wrong he, he put me to work but it became very clear like a few months in that he didn't need me like he just gave me a job just to help me and a lot of the stuff that he had me do a lot of it was hard like i'm not gonna lie i didn't work in construction and i didn't just like do office work you know what i mean like i i wasn't i was never in an office i didn't just sit in the truck and do nothing like i had to go pick up materials i had to clean construction sites dig there was one time where i literally dug for almost 12 hours straight because we had to dig the plumbing for a foundation for a house. I remember the blisters. I remember being so sore the next day. I remember all of it. So when he gave me this card for my birthday, I read it and it like dawned on me. Like a lot hit me. He said, I just want to let you know that I hope you have an amazing birthday. I also want to let you know that I wasn't trying to be rude to you when you worked for me. I apologize. I never wanted to make you feel bad. My intentions were never meant to make you feel bad. And the contrary, I just didn't want you to get too comfortable in construction so you would try harder to pursue your dreams i always believed you were meant to do greater things in life there's more but i won't get <laughs> i won't get too into it because i literally i don't think i could speak but that was basically the gist of it um i almost want like i almost want to frame this card because 
after this trip and i don't know why this always happens i don't know if it's normal i don't know if a thing that like people usually go through because it's definitely not something that i'm used to but january has been going so good for me everything that i have been wanting to manifest for this month is coming true and i got to go to like a movie premiere like i didn't meet jennifer lopez but she literally walked right in front of me like i could have touched her i heard her speak i went to a movie premiere like these are things that little gloria dreamed of doing i got to meet so many amazing people i got to meet darcy carter and I got to meet Billy Eichner. I got to experience what it is to be invited by a brand to go to a Hollywood movie premiere. And then I came back and I don't know why, but in my mind, I'm like, what if it's all like a fluke? You know what I mean? Like you would think that after times like this, uh, all I would do is be grateful and I am. Like don't get me wrong, but there's just, you hit these highs and then you hit these lows and that's kind of what happened after this trip. And, and that it's kind of been hitting me and i really didn't want to film today but i felt it would be important again to share my experiences with you guys and to be more vulnerable and this is just my reminder to you guys to to reflect as much as you might not feel like you are where you're supposed to be right now you are and sometimes all you have to do is look back it's so hard to forget about it in the moment but literally four years ago i was praying and working so hard and manifesting and crying at night to have crumbs crumbs of what i have now so just be grateful like as much as life wants to as much as life as much as your mind wants to trick you and tell you that something is a fluke you're not a fluke and you got this so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm going to journal <laughs> And then I think Brandon should be here and we're gonna prepare our green chef meal which I'm so excited about and we're gonna have just a little moment to each other like I said I know this was a day that I really needed to just spend with myself and to reflect so that is what we're gonna do and even though I don't feel like I'm alone I got you guys I'm gonna journal I'm probably gonna journal in this one because I feel like I really need this one today write my little notes and thoughts in this I might read a little bit Okay guys, Brandon is almost here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping everything. I actually already went ahead and unboxed my Green Chef box earlier just because I wanted everything to be prepared and ready for when he got here. And we're gonna have like our little date and make our together. But I'm so excited to be talking about Green Chef because one of my goals this year also in 2023 was I wanted to be better to my body. And that just means better meals, including better ingredients, higher quality food, and not having to stress myself out and all always ordering in or taking out, which is a habit I feel like we were really getting into and a habit I want to break. And thanks to Green Chef, it has made it so much easier. The reason I love Green Chef is because it literally takes the thought process out of who's picking up what for dinner? What are we having for dinner? Is it gonna be healthy? Is it gonna be something that I'm gonna feel guilty about putting into my body? Green Chef answers all of those questions in such a positive way. Because Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean, delicious dinner week after a week with step-by-step -step recipes and pre-measured premium ingredients to save you time. Another thing I love about Green Chef is that we're not huge meat eaters and we really like to focus on a good balanced diet and quality ingredients. And Green Chef has options for vegan lifestyles, gluten-free lifestyles, keto lifestyles, Mediterranean, fast and fit, you name it. Green Chef has a plan for you and it is delivered straight to your door. Taking the stress of buying ingredients, buying the right thing, buying the wrong thing, forgetting something in the store, everything comes in the box, guys. Everything comes included. Green Chef saves you time, saves you stress, keeps you fit and healthy. Again, everything is pre-proportioned and delivered straight to your door you guys that that that's just so wonderful to me it's literally all here and it comes with really simple anybody can do it if you can read it you can achieve it instructions if you guys are interested in trying out Green Chef, which I know you are, how did I not entice you so much already? Use my code MariaGloria60, I'll pop it up here, to get 60% off plus free shipping. And make sure you go to greenchef.com for more details. Husband is home, he made it. Can you read off our meal of the day? Chicken with garlic charred rice. Apricot pan sauce and roasted almonds. So we're gonna make this. We have everything we need in this bag. It's literally all in here, thanks to Hube. Green shit. Like I mentioned earlier. The most sustainable meal kit. This has apricot. By skipping the store, you reduce your food waste this by has at least 25%. What do you got? So 
everything is already portioned like i was mentioning everything already comes in the exact amounts that you will need i'll come to this little baggie let's get our pots and pans ready and we're gonna have a cute little cooking montage like the cute little couple we are cup water this is easy i feel like we should turn this on you're very beautiful works every time <laughs> again this is the first organic certified company in the meal kit category and the baddie is super sustainable because green chef creates less food waste than retail grocery stores so bada bing bada all good things i mean all good things That is 10 out of 10. 